Right guys, well hello and welcome to another episode on our Barney family YouTube and Facebook and yes, you've guessed it, we're inside an old caravan. I've actually just picked up this old caravan, it's a, it's a junker, but what I'm going to get from it is the chassis with a double axle obviously to make a hay bale trailer for Emily's horse field. Now I got this thing and I just want to share this with you, I got this thing for £300, okay? Which is, what is it, $340, something like that. What I'm going to try and do with this thing is make our money back on it. Now, obviously, the trailer chassis and, um, you know, the wheels and stuff like that, goodness me, that's worth a lot of money just by itself. But I want to kind of try and make the money back. And one of the great things is, guys, that, you know, our trailer caravan on this caravan all have the same size of rims and tyres. This caravan has come with five really really good tyres, one of them is actually brand new, so that really is quite something, that actually covers the cost already, but what I'm going to try and do I think is, is take these cookers out intact, look, cooker, grill, which I'm assuming is, yeah, and the oven, sink, sink top, and uh, see if we can sell them, you know, to somebody doing like a, a camper conversion or something like that, you know. So as always guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit notifications, always plenty of videos coming. Good variety hopefully, so there's a, a little something for everyone. And of course I'm sure you guys know Bar uh, David and Emily have their Barney Family Fun YouTube channel, so let's get to work. But there are tons of stuff that I can rob. So for example... Uh, that's the, the charger unit there for the 12 volt battery system. That's a 240 volt um, fuse box, and that's awesome, guys. I can just take that on the fittings, all the bits and pieces. And of course, with the 240, for example, that's a really good fuse box for our garage or any stable, you know. So, what I'm trying to do here to myself is prove that I could make that money back a little investment just to see if we can make it back. So, what I'm going to do again, guys, is you know. All these different hinges, they're always really handy. I think my brother's taken these for his caravan. Um, and I think we're just going to take the whole thing apart from inside. If you really want to be petty, that's about five pound. You know, one of those. Same again, five. And you know, it's not half bad, actually. But the outside is a little bit, and I'll show you that after. But again, there's a lot of stuff we can get out of this thing. Yeah, so here we go already. You know, it's sometimes what I'm doing at the moment is actually unscrewing a lot of stuff because we can't smash some of this stuff, you know, but it's actually easier. That is a little extractor fan, I think. Um, yeah, car battery fan. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. But it's just easier when you come to throw all the stuff out. Of course, we take it to the recycling centre, so like wood, metal, you know, all that's got to be kind of separated. So it's pointless just bashing this thing to bits. But of course David and Emily won't do so, I'll let them have a crack at it though. Yeah, so lots of stuff we can scavenge. I mean look at this little this little thing here, look. Which obviously held up this part. When I mean, you look at that, you know, it's good for a you know like a reptile tank or something like that. It'd be awesome, I think we'll use that. Here we go, it's coming apart now. Not so fussed about that, but look, that's actually a really nice fitting. 50 watt max under fats. That looks like it's off the 240 volt actually though. <coughs> yeah, it's so under the back seats here. These are always good to keep. That's like, I don't know if it's plywood. I think it's actually plywood, but it's very, very lightweight, you know, obviously for caravans. And because we've got our big caravan, it's actually good keeping some of this stuff, especially the really lightweight hinges and stuff. Yeah, so hopefully you can see this is pretty much how caravans are made. You know, everything's light and whatever. It's actually really hard to get all this off, so they don't do such a bad job of getting it all, though, I'll tell you. Really good. Here we go, making a bit of headway now. I think I'll use this back bit in the caravan as the bulky waste part, I think, as we go along. And that's a lot of good wood for the fire. And, of course, we're getting some great fittings. That's really beautiful, that. I like that. Lightweight, of course, but hey-ho. Right guys, one of the tricks to this, you know, if you're ever doing a bit of a demolition job, is just to try and keep organised and fairly tidy. That's all bulk waste and the stuff that needs to go into black bags, the recycling centre take that. And this side here's all the good wood and the stuff that we're going to keep. I mean, getting this floor up, I'm really not sure about. But I want to keep ourselves as organised as possible. I am sweating. 
but yeah, it's just really starting to get through it now. Getting there, getting there through the toilet. I think that area there, I might actually leave that till the end. Because, you know, once I take off the sides, that'll come out easy peasy, you know. So I'll maybe just leave that particular part. Get rid of that. We're in here as well. And guys, you know, it's amazing what you could salvage. I mean, that gas heater, absolutely not. It's probably the same one that's been in for years. And uh, I wouldn't trust it. It just wouldn't be worth it at all. But uh, certainly everything else, look all the wiring. Looking good. So guys, I've got out that which I really wanted. And just for those of you that don't know, that's actually a charger for the 12 volt system on the caravan. And that is the 240 volt, which is awesome. Great, look. So I can use that. I might actually use this stuff in the boat, you know that? We've actually got a boat that we've just kind of been back and forth to for ages, you know? Working away on there's always something else going on. I'll tell you, for now guys, look, here we go. Oh, it's all coming away. For now guys, I need a drink, I'm really thirsty. Now guys, I don't know if you get that in the States. Iron Brew, it is really tasty, very thirst quenching and sugar free as well. And about the only thing I can actually drink aside from coffee and Coke. Yeah, so hopefully the idea behind this is that we'll just that little investment, you know, because we really need a trailer that's capable of taking like three bales of hay for uh, Emily's field. And of course, that's a twin axle job. You've seen it. It's, it's really, really quite big. But I kind of want to make our money back on it, you know, because, you know, things are tight, you know, the, the cost of living and all that sort of things. And, you know, if you can, if you've got the time, because that's the other thing, then uh, great, you know, just go for it. But I'm trying to salvage as much as I can out of it. There's things I could probably sell, but we just don't have the time or the space to sort of keep that stuff, you know. So for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to crack on through and get it done. But uh, it's going to be a monster trailer. You know, that, that is six metres long, like a bit more actually. Twin axle. It's braked as well, which is awesome. And uh, tyres are really good. Everything else seems to be fine. The suspension was okay when I was dro driving it back. We, we took it the back road. And I did swing it about a bit in the back road um, just to see what it was like. And the suspension's obviously really good as well. Yeah, I see, yeah. We're actually childminded at the moment. We're in a child daycare service from home. For child protection, we can't have the kids on camera and stuff like that, but you'll you'll hear them. I just like to go away and get David and Emily from school, actually. Hey, guys. Yes, yeah, so let's have a go. Right. Whoa, big boy. <laughs> well, that didn't work. The tripod went straight down. <laughs> As you can see, this did work. There we go. Right, we'll have to have a look at this, but this is the, obviously the water heater. It's hot water, and of course it's had this insulation sign in it as well. Let's see if we can get this thing out with one, one go. Must be from the outside. Same with the water pump, it'll be outside as well. Now this is the first time I've ever did a caravan, but I have seen caravans crumple and get wrecked and stuff, you know. And generally what you find is, you know, like the fittings, for example, they actually provide the whole caravan with structure. So I can't rip everything out just yet, but if I leave in, say, that, and obviously the bulkhead here as well, keep the front okay. Um, leaving that, maybe that, that, I just need the uprights that are going that way, just to give it some sort of stability. And I'll put a big tire up over the top of the roof. Um, from either side of the chassis, but it's really starting to come away now. I might leave these parts actually until we do the floor, because if I take them out, there's going to be kind of big, big gaping holes, you know, for just now, and I don't really need that just now. So the thing I'll maybe do is just tidy up. And of course, with all the, the wiring that you see and the tubes, I'm better off leaving them till the end when we take all these walls down. And pretty much what we're going to do is get the reciprocating saw, and we're just going to cut everything into big sections lay it down flat on the trailer bed like this, strap it down, and take it to the dump. So there's my bag of goodies so far. Look at the lights, carbon monoxide alarm. It's a bar, you know, no, it's something for, what is that? That's to make things smell nice. Bits and pieces, springs, everything. Loads and loads of wood, as you can see. That's just all the bulky waste stuff we're talking about. And of course, we've got the big battery charger and the, I might actually get that tested by an electrician actually. Let's make sure that's okay. 
Oh, right, so I've stopped with the sledgehammer for a bit now. So, there's still nothing in there. Oh. Yeah, these covers are uh, tough, and, tough and safety glass. Come out look at that. Check it out, look. Fuses for our caravan. They're always handy. I'm going to get this. No, not without. Yeah, these gas cookers are actually fairly standard. I don't know where these springs keep coming from. They're really handy. Yeah, and a lot of the older caravans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and if someone's building a... Doing a project or something, this, this, will, this will pretty much be perfect for them. There's no gas linked up anyway. You know, when it, when it comes to DIY and all that sort of stuff, you know, I don't muck around with gas. That's for qualified people. I just have my little bit of knowledge to get by and do my own thing. But when it comes to gas, that's a lot more serious. So let's see, is this just... Obviously there's a gas tap just under there. All I really need to do is just get that part of it will be fine. Yeah, so I don't want to damage it. Wait, it might be useful for someone. I'm not going to go damaging it. And this I'm presuming is all the same. And of course this one's just got the waste. But this should give us access to these tops. Let's see. Yeah, there's an earth wire. They will just cut these all off. Because you never know. One man's rubbish is another man's treasure. As I've always been taught, you know. There we go, so now we're... See, I want to try and take out as much of the electrics intact as I can. Because it is really handy. And these are electric, I'm sure they are. We'll see if we can get these babies out in one go. There we go. So yeah, just at the side of the road. These heads probably actually come off a bit, yeah. Running what is very handy indeed. Here we go. Oh, yeah, they are. We'll just snip, snip that. They might come in handy. Look at these Jubilee clips I'm going to inherit. Isn't that awesome? Oh, yeah. So, like I said, you know, with the pipes, I'm just going to try and leave all them so when we rip all the sides, they're all going to be in kind of one piece. And I can just roll them up. That's just really starting to get into it now. I'll go down in there. So that's my boy employed now, Luke. We're just taking out all this bit here. Just working our way around. I think I'm hitting the yet. Right, guys, so that's the fridge kind of coming out, but as you can see, look, that is not going to be worth it. Yeah, that's not going to be worth it. David's trying to hit the tough and safety glass. Ain't gonna... Oh, we got it. It worked. It worked. Yes. Yeah, boy. Yeah, so we're starting to lose a bit of light now, guys. But that is basically phase one complete, I think. <coughs> they are being taken away. We've kept all that bits maybe for sale. And we'll just have to see how it all works out. The gas fire just has to go. And I think, actually, guys, the fridge is pretty... Disgusting inside. I don't think it's worth it at all. But the water here, the gas water here, all these pumps, they'll be absolutely brilliant. But I think, yeah, I th see, see this part here, for example. I think I'm going to leave them in place just to give us some structure in this whole thing. I have been debating about you know, ripping this all out just now, but I think I'll just use the reciprocating saw and cut out sections. I think that would be the better idea. But that basically means now the majority of that is bulky waste. We've got some nice weed in there. And when we actually come to cut all these bits off, I think that's when we'll tackle that bathroom bit. I mean, it just doesn't take long. And look, there's the road. And obviously we've got all those wires out whole, which will be great, plus all these pipes. You know, we'll need to sit and get them all cleaned right enough, but um, you know, a lot of good pipe there. Jubilee clips and all sorts. I reckon we're making our money back easy peasy. Especially for me skylights, guys. These are new. As you'll see. And everyone in the caravan's pretty ratty, and they're all quite standard, so I'm going to take them anyway, eh? It can't hurt. 
Yeah, so as you can see by this wiring, guys, that is really high quality stuff. Very thick as well. That's awesome. I hope I get a heap of this actually, because I could wire up the, sh the, the shed, um, our back lights in our shed and stuff. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so we can sell that cooker top, the sink and the draining board thing. That'd be awesome. I don't think the oven's up to much really. And I really wouldn't want to risk a fridge. Maybe somebody else would, but I certainly don't. And of course we've got our box of goodies and, taking out that gas, we've got some heat shield for our multi-fuel stove in our living room. Awesome. Yeah, so that looks like phase one. Once we get all that stuff out of here um, and into the trailer, and obviously the old stuff here as well, and clean it out a bit, that's phase one kind of done. Then we'll need to go for the interior, get the inside done as well. But I'll leave all this stuff in place just now. I'll have to leave it again, I've probably said it a three times already, but I'll have to leave that in its structure, you know, just to make sure the caravan's not gonna, you see what I mean, when it comes up in that, you know? Maybe put, like I said, I'll put, I'll maybe put a big strap across the roof or something like that. But yeah, I mean, an old gas appliance like that, guys, just isn't worth it. I mean, really not worth it. Right, guys, so we are in Emily's field, and I've just dropped the Land Rover down to its low box. That means it's almost like your push bike, you know, it's the, the big cog in the back wheel and the shorter cog in the front. A bit the same as that. And it's just because, you know, we have to kind of go up and down much easier just for grip, you know. So there he goes. Maybe just oh, neaten him up, get him that way a little bit. But that's looking really, really good. That'll be just fine there. And of course, what we're going to do is I'm going to transfer all the rubbish out of there into our trailer uh, and take that away that way, I think, yeah. Yep, that might just do it, people. Yeah, I hate dumping things. Always like them to be straight and sorted out, but I'll, I'll do that later. So just gonna give you a quick look. Yeah, so this might look like a bit of a disaster, guys, but basically we've been building this whole thing from recycled wood from our very good friend that lives just next door there. And this is the first wood I've had to buy, are these trusses. Because, guys, you know, at the end of the day, you know, this will be absolutely fine. Got it all strengthened up and all sorts of things. But, you know, the roof's very, very important, you know. So uh, we're getting some proper wood for that. And I've just really got to get going with this. But it's big enough for two horses. There's two doors. That's one there. We'll cut them so it goes in and out. And uh, yeah, we're going to have two, and two doors. One goes outside. This will go into the hay bale store, which that caravan is actually for. I might actually have to rethink this now, actually, because that's a long trailer. For goodness sake, it's probably the length of it. Oh, right. So we got a wee bit of thinking to do, people. We're talking about the caravan. Is the length of that stables, guys? Look, 7.6 metres. Right, they belong to there. That door's useless. Well, it's not. I'm going to have to shift that into there, I think, and have the door right on the end. Oh, my goodness gracious. Anyway, good problem to have, though. You know, because I mean, you're talking two horses, I don't know how quickly they go through bales of hay, but if you have three bales in there, as you know, all the time, that'll be flipping awesome. And the idea, of course, is we can just drag it in and out. And it isn't just as easy with a Land Rover. You can't just sort of jam it in first gear and take it up. Put it down in the low box, in the first, and it'll drag anything out of here. So out we come. So we're going to go away and get the little trailer now. And I'm going to have to try and fill that up because we've got a recycling centre appointment tomorrow. Oh, I don't know what's happened to her, she okay? Right, so that's us back with a little Trixie trailer now and some uh, wood just for the roof there. So I just thought I'd grab a hold of these before we came. How are we looking now? Oh my goodness gracious. That is really quite something. What a size of a caravan though. Really big. I think I got a car in this trailer. In fact, I could get a car in this trailer. Three hips and that's a toilet out. Oh my good, look at that. I'm trying to take things out as whole as I can so I can put it in the trailer, you know, it's a lot of debris if you don't. And over there is the worst part of all, it's got a, an overflow, you know, for all the bits and pieces as we do in the toilets. And uh, it's been in there for quite some time and it is very smelly. So I'm leaving that job just for the minute, I think. But look at this now. And I'm actually thinking, guys, I mean, the floor of this thing, you know, it must be pretty solid. You know, as in the wood. You know, if you were to reinforce it with sort of metal, I bet you could put a car on this thing. You know, because caravan weighs two and a half tonnes anyway. 
we've pretty much taken out the hole in the side and we're taking off all the walls and windows and absolutely everything. I'll see, I'll see what the chassis looks like when we get it, sort of, everything off. Yeah, so that's basically the contents of a seven metre caravan, or six metres I think it is actually. It's not much is it really, when you think about it. Yeah, so starting to get the ratchet straps on now, and as you can see we've got quite a few different types and sizes and all that sort of stuff, and that really is for jobs like this, you know. But again, we I mean, check it out guys, you know. Your ratchet that up, tight, tight, you know, it's well, well worth it. Now I think we're going to put a big one on from there right over and then we'll strap it down. And here we go, big blue. He's the, uh, look at that, wee Land Rover pocket look. I think I'll just take that thing off actually. Uh, there he goes, big blue. Yeah, just a real quick note about towing, guys, is that, you know, especially coming out of this field, this trailer's going to bounce around a lot coming out of the field and when we sort of depart and go around. And what can happen is things shift, things move, and all of a sudden that strap you thought was very tight isn't anymore. And then at least they just, ch -ch -ch, you know, ratchet it up, and that should be absolutely fine. So here we go, guys, low box. I'm going to have to fix that. A low box, I mean, that's their normal, you know, the normal gears, fifth and then reverse. But obviously what you can do is put it into a low box and I tend to put it just in first gear and sometimes you know it just won't go on a special older vehicles so you lift the clutch up a tiny bit and there we go that's her in. Now watch this. Good for the clutch though, it's good for the gearbox because it is heavy. I mean, I don't know, what would be in that three quarters of a ton maybe? And as you can see we're bouncing already and that will loosen it off. So we'll check out how you are. Let's change how we're doing. Five miles an hour. See? That's still first gear. And high box. Yeah, so hopefully you can see you guys. Look. Look at the wind. What a storm going on just now. Goodness me. Anyway, I thought guys, we're going to come up to Emily's horsey field. I want to double check the stables. As you can see over there on the left, that is them. But of course, it's still quite a shell. The caravan's down there as well. I'll double check, it's okay. So let's go and have a look. Oh yeah, this is wild. It's wild, wild. Saw a couple of trees down as well. So I was sort of coming across, look, and the cover of the, the roof tent's coming away. I better go and sort that as well. Yeah, I kind of saw it coming down and I thought it looks okay, but we'll just have to take a quick look, make sure everything's all right. Uh, sometimes I'm a bit scared to look, but I think we're okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, the structure seems okay. And I've got that tied off because we've got to finish that corner section just there. So I've just left it. There's a thing that's down. And of course that's the trusses that I'm using that are going on just there. Oh, get a bad weed. I might shut that door before we go actually, but as you can see, I've got it all sort of uh, reinforced anyway, you know, on every side. Oh, and inside we come. It's not so bad in here actually. I'm thinking I maybe could go on with some work, but no, it's it's pretty miserable today. Not very good at all. I'm wanting to get the cement mixer up here as well at some point, because I've got these dug in about two feet. Uh, six or seven hundred mil I should say maybe. And uh, I wouldn't mind pouring some concrete in there for these ones. Because as you can see, it's very, very important to the job. I've still got to double up this part up here. You know, it's obviously, it's doubled up there as a joist. But uh, I've got to put another layer on like that and make it really, really strong. But it's not too bad. Everything seems to be holding fine. Nothing's flapping. My main concern was actually the caravan. As you can see, the back out the wind again. Because obviously we've emptied it and it's pretty light now. You know, it's pretty light now, but it's not even moving. It should be absolutely fine. But yeah, stuff this guy's not working on this today. I would if it was just raining, but the wind is pretty wild. As you can see, the grass is really starting to grow back in in the field. That's great. I'm just going to keep it going. I'll maybe just give it a trim here and there. But yeah, it's just too wild, absolutely too wild.